Purdue comes in over the Boston line. Let's the shot go. Boom. Grabs that one and holds on. Now here's Alan Peterson shoving with Rutu. Nate, they gather in behind the Boston net. Not in the lineup tonight for the Bruins. Middleton, Marquardt, Larson, and Byers. Johansson goes in after it. He's watched there by Neely Neely. Puts him into the board and knocks him down. Outside call the Buffalo Blue Line. Danny's knocked out by McGuire. Now Joyce comes in and shoves McGuire. Against Borkin behind the Boston net. Now it's kept in by Halkidis. He was hit and knocked out by Kluzak at the Boston line. Oh, here's Halkidis firing away at Kluzak. Luzak, nothing else he could do but was to put his head down because Halkidis was on him. Yeah, Halkidis is pointing towards his eye. I believe, believe he's bleeding, and he might have caught a stick possibly from Kluzak when he came out on the check. And that's the reason possibly why he reacted so violently. Halkidis is just wound up tighter than a drum. We've got a battle royal going on. In the opening minutes of the first period, there is no score. With 15-11 remaining in the first period, look at Folino. He's completely out of control right now. The referee has him by the scruff of the neck, and he's doing his best to get away. Now, what happened, Kluzak got Folino going earlier, and then Folino got Kluzak going. He said something to one another. No punches were thrown. Just something verbally turned them both on. Now they'll sit in the penalty box and jab at one another in there for a couple minutes. How Kedis... Watch well, the action right here along the boards. The bodies are just flying all over tonight. And there's Halkidis. He jumps on his back, and he caught him right in the side of the head. Now you look at Kluzak sitting over in the penalty box. Hey, he doesn't know what's going on. What happened out there anyways? Well, we'll fill you in now on the penalties. Gillies has one second remaining in his penalty. Now Halkidis picks up a roughing penalty at 449. Kluzak unsportsmanlike. Folino unsportsmanlike. And a 10-minute misconduct. Well... Boston makes out on that deal pretty good. Rutu into the side of the net, down to Tucker, they score! He sends it right back in. Andrichuk steps on side. Here's Bork. Andrichuk runs into Bork. Now it's picked out by Tucker. Has to wait for Andrichuk to come on side. Now Bork runs into Tucker. Tucker knocks Bork down to the ice. Important play right there by Tucker. Bork's hard to hit, and he really leveled, leveled him. Casper off the boards. Cook takes his check into the boards on the far side. Alpidus is back on. Sweeney and Halkidis. You can't even look at Halkidis tonight. He's ready to jump. Now somebody comes in from the backside and nailed him. Didn't even see him coming. Somebody came in late from way behind. Got a hold of him. And you're watching Sabres Hockey on the Niagara Frontier Sports Network. Oh, man, the intensity of this hockey game. Look at the hit right there of Bob Halkidis. He just jumped the gun. Got another shot from the side now. Watch shoe bottom come in eventually, and he'll just jump on the back. And there's another hit by John Tucker. Gets the elbows up at the last moment. Meets Ray Bork. Flush, and down goes Bork. Shoe bottom was the guy that came in late and jumped on Helkitas' back. And there he is right there. He had 336 minutes in penalties. That was second in the American Hockey League for Mr. Shoe Bottom. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, they say Mr. Shoebottom had trouble playing in the American <laughs> Hockey League, but he hasn't hurt this hockey club at all this evening or the first two games either. I watch it again. Here's here. the action right there. Touchy, touchy tonight. And that should be a penalty for the second guy moving in. Another third guy. While waiting for the... Uh, there's Shoebottom just kind of nails him from the side. Good thing he missed with that right, huh? <laughs> waiting for the penalties now. Uh, to be announced. Again, here's this good hit right here by Tucker. You have to bring the gloves and the elbows up. You're going to meet one another, and Tucker brings his up a little higher, and down goes Bork. Bork's very, very difficult to hit. Here's the action. Now watch some charge towards the goal. That's Cam Neely. Now seeing how difficult it is to move him out of the crease area, the best thing to do is push him right into the crease area over the goal line. You know, one of the, one of the most amazing things in the National Hockey League is the fact that nobody ever fights Kenny Lindsman. I was just I mean, going he to gets say. Away. It's unbelievable. Okay, every game, he'll work a guy over, and nobody really uh, clocks him. I can't believe that uh, no one's gotten a fight with him in the last, uh, the first two games in the Boston Garden. Well, he's he's right. Here's 
drop it behind the net. Oh, he missed it. Janney's got it. The pass in front knocked away. Another loose puck. They score! Janney! Into Forchak. It'll come around, but Lindsman's waiting for it. Missed it. Here's a chance. Oh, it hit the goal post. Barrasso falls to as Miller wrapped that one off the goal post and back and hit the back of Barrasso, and he fell on it. Captain in it in. Ramsey going in deep against Kelvin. Now Shepard's in there. Wesley. It'll come around now for Polino. Polino winds up. Can't get the shot away. Back into the ball. We got Ramsey. Who is it? Ramsey and Kelvin. Wants to set him up. Ramsey could have really clocked him a few times and he backed off showing a little bit of sportsmanship there. Say the same thing about Cam Neely when he had Ruff in the same position in Boston. Into the corner. Three seconds left in the Buffalo power play. Here's Brutu trying to move in on goal. Far side, the drive, he scores! Mike Polino drills it in! Now yeah, watch the action right here. Mike Ramsey stands right up and pops Wesley. Wesley just kind of caught the side of the check and Ramsey went down. Terrific place to hit a man when he's cutting in across the blue line. And here they go, the other end. A two on one, here's Miller. Kluzak goes in front of the net, but a great sliding save there by Ruff. Oh, out comes in a side. Oh, Hartford to line up Miller. Watch Jay Miller move into the Buffalo zone, and the pass is blocked by Ruff, who slid right into it, and there's the check by Hartman, who just caught him with his head down, going full blast. Watch this play right here, just stretched right out and took the play away from the Bruins. Here's the hit. Watch the action right here. Tucker comes up with the stick and cranks it into the side of the head of... Bob Sweeney, I believe. Bob Sweeney. Lindsman's in front of the net. Here's Bork with the screen shot. Barrasso makes the save. McCarthy to Wesley. The shot. He scores! He lost it. Here's Priestley trying to sweep it in. Went off the back of Janney. He dropped it back into Peterson. Janney and Priestley get all tied up. Oh, here's Janney and Priestley. They might go at it. Well, Priestley has his gloves off, and he's swinging. Now Janney's finally got his off. And this won't go too far right now. And Priestley got a couple of shots in at Janney. Brings Janney right down to his knees. Now Janney's not too happy with it, and he shouldn't be either. He wants to get back at Priestley. Now Priestley has the gloves off, and then finally the linesman get right in there. McCarthy and Barrasso, they're having a game all by themselves. As a matter of fact, Barrasso is chopping up McCarthy so much, he's sick and tired of it, so he has now turned around while the Bruins have the puck in the offensive zone, and he's staring right at the goaltender. Maybe we'll catch it here. Watch McCarthy. See him facing the goaltender? He's holding the stick up in front of his face. He won't turn his back to Barrasso anymore. <laughs> he wants to see what's coming. Burridge lost it, goes deep into the Buffalo zone. Sweeney goes in to touch it, but it's called in the off. Now Sweeney doing some shovel oh, against Ruff. All right, let's watch this. Decent hit. Now you knock him down. That's okay, too. But that isn't okay. He will tip it, glove down by Halkidis, and Halkidis is hit there by Burry. Here's Polino in with Miller. Now Hartman comes in, bumps Miller. Oh, Polino took a high stick in the face area. Sure did from Lindsman. Here comes Tucker trying to get to it. Tucker got in there, touched it first. There's no icing. Back it comes down to the line. There's a pass right through. And the rebound. He shoots. He scores! John Tucker! It all started right here. Right into your living room. Here goes Tucker. Back up on his feet. He'll charge to the front of the net. He's looking for a loose puck. He'll find it. Single. Just like that. The Sabres take a 3-2 lead. 133 remaining. Period. Loose puck picked up by Johansson. Hansen shoves it ahead to Tucker. Tucker going where did he go? Shooting. He's tipped up. There could be a penalty shot. Will there be a penalty shot? He was wide yes. open. You There's bet. a penalty shot. There is. Oh, and this auditorium is just rocking and rolling right now. What an experience for these fans. John Tucker will get a penalty shot. He was taken down from behind. Johansson watches. He pushes it ahead to Tucker. And away goes Tucker. He's looking for a spot except he went to shoot the puck. Shoebottom that caught a piece of him. There it is right here. Shoebottom's after him. Tucker's pouring it on, trying to set himself up. The other defenseman just came in from the far side and tucked the feet from underneath him, and he goes right down in his belly. Now he'll go to the face-off spot at center ice, and there will be sheer pandemonium if he ever puts his puck in the net. Casper now.
arguing with the referee, Bill McCreary. He got a shot. Yep. Well, Ted, this is a this is about as exciting as you can get. Enjoy this call, will you? This is going to be very interesting. John Tucker. This with call the, might be going coast to coast. We'll make it a good one, will you? <laughs> with the Sabres leading 3-2. Now the referee, McCreary, going over the top to Andy Moe. And Tucker. Here he comes. In on Moe with the breakaway. Tucker going and shoots. He scores! Clears it out into the corner. Goes in against Bluzak. Now recovered by Andrew Chuck. He's checked. Here's Andrew Chuck trying to move it in front. Gets a high stick on him. And look at the shoe bottom. 40 seconds left in the period. He's moving the mountain in front. He better move the right guy out of there. He's got a grimace. He a grimace on shoe bottom space. He always, I think he has it on for the whole game. He puts that type of move on a guy like Kevin McGuire. His face will look like the bottom of a shoe. Now watch right here. Anderchuk, the gutty move by Anderchuk. He knows he's going to be pummeled. He's sticking his face in there, and you get hit every time, especially against the Bruins. I mean, look at you, bottom. The face the mother could only love. Breakaway pass intended for Sweeney. Priestley trying to clear it. Watch for Miller McGuire. There they go. Oh, Miller got the got his glove off first and threw the shot in there. McGuire wasn't quite set for it. They started sticking one another all the way down the ice. And finally, they can open right up. McGuire's getting that right arm free. The all over and under trick now. That's what I meant right there, and there's the proof of it. He's sitting over there smiling. He got the better of, uh, watch now, right here. Now watch Miller come in. Fires one guy down to the ice. He'll start this whole fight off. He'll get the gloves off before McGuire even realizes. There, the gloves are off right now. He's got the first couple punches in. So he'll pick up the extra two minutes for starting the fight. Now as far as Jay Miller's concerned, he must have learned how to fight before he learned how to play hockey. <laughs> You've always been a big fan of his, though. <laughs> and we're chucking to Tucker. Tucker still with it through the party. They score! Tucker will get his fourth goal of the game. That one went off another player in front of the Boston net. He tried to send it over to the far side. Tucker with his fourth goal of the game. So it's 5-2 to two with 10.46 to go. Here's the announcement on that goal. Assist number 25, Dave Andrichuk, and number six, Bill Housley. Tucker from Andrichuk and Housley. The time, 9-14. Here's the pass from Brook 2 to Gillies into the Boston zone. Johansson will try to keep it in a moment ago. Right after that face-off, Lindsman and Brook 2 had their sticks up at each other for a moment. Now watch this. Here's Brook. Here's Lindsman cross-checking Brook 2 from behind. Now they'll come back over the line. Well... There's Clark Gillies. He's tied up at center ice with Willie Flett. You're talking about some major league heavyweights there. Mike Ramsey goes over to Kenny Lindsman. Lindsman will not drop the stick. And he's trying to club Ramsey in the side of the head with it. He won't drop it. It's amazing that he can continue to play and not get into a fight. You're looking at Gillies and Flett. They're tied up in a stranglehold. And with the score, Buffalo 5, Boston 2. Now I can tell you what's going to happen here, Ted. Either Boston will try to come back and win this hockey game, or they'll just cast their chips in. 
and just there playing a real physical game. And there's the hit on Clark Gillies right there, and it kind of stunned him a little bit. He got back up on his feet and found the man just in around center ice. I guess it was Willie Plutt. There's McGuire, Gillies, Mike Ramsey in the penalty box. Led by Jabby, and he fires it in off the boards for Rasso. Now Crook will go after him. Here's Jeff oh. keeping it in. Oh, it went right through the end, right through the Zamboni. Entrance there, that's where Jim Sean fell. Took Wayne Cashman quite a few years ago, and they were right there toe-to-toe -to -toe in the concrete, flailing away at each other. And I wonder, <laughs> just that's the first thing that went right through my mind. I wonder how many people at home thought of the same thing. Here it is right here. Krupp sidesteps him, and he just throws himself right into the Zamboni. <laughs> and there's our low camera. There's Charlie Telesco. <laughs> He's trying to get it picked. Yeah, he got it. Charlie won't give up on it, will you? That's a <laughs> Seven minutes now remaining here in the third period. Ramsey cleared that one off the glass. Oh, the referee dropped the linesman of the referee. Yes, it had the referee. Caught him right on the side of the head. He went down like a dirigible, right down to his knees quickly. Bill McCreary got that shot off the glass and into the head area, we believe. Yes, now the two linesmen talking to him, and apparently he's going to be all right and continue to... Worked the game with seven minutes and three seconds remaining in the that's third when, period. That's when you go over and you try to get the referee on your side now. You know, you, you protect him. Hey, you okay? Everything all right, Billy? Nice job. You're doing great out there. Now, Kiedis cleared it on into the Bruin zone. Comes over now to Chubal. Now we've got Sweeney and Al Kiedis. Here they go. Al Kiedis, Al Kiedis just drilled him down to the ice with a couple of quick punches. He is on his backside before he knew anything that happened to him. Now there goes Halkidis again, heading towards the Boston bench. Yeah, I would think. Here comes Felino, breaks it over the line, shooting, but kicks it again, a backhand right, he scores! Mike Felino with his second goal of the game, and his third of the playoffs, and it's a 6-2 to two lead, Buffalo. Here's McCarthy, back it comes to Wesley, to McCarthy, McCarthy moving in, shooting, Ramsey again with a fine defensive effort, falls down in front of the shot, and Mike Ramsey's had a great game here tonight. Now goes to Miller, who puts Miller into the board, with only 55 seconds remaining in the third period. The Sabres will win this one, and they'll... It'll be a 2-1 lead in favor of the Boston Bruins. But now Sweeney and Krupp. Here they go, Krupp. Down he goes again. Every time Sweeney gets into a fight, he ends up on his backside. They're going to call him canvas back. <laughs> this time it was Uwe Krupp. You better have an awful long reach if you want to get inside against Krupp. He stands about six foot five, and he can reach from here to Transit Road. With 47 seconds left, give me some irony period. Here it is, right here. Here's Sweeney on the far side. Group is coming in to check him. Group takes a smash from behind, the glove and a little massage in the side of the head, and rightly so. Group comes back at him. Now well, Sweeney, watch—he puts his head right into the glass. The way they go. Here's the announcement of the penalty. Buffalo penalty to number four, Huey Krupp. Two minutes for roughing and five minutes for fighting. Sweeney, five minutes for fighting. Now the face-off over the Buffalo blue line. Uh-oh, now we've got some action around the Buffalo belt. The Boston bench just like they had in Boston. Well, this you know what happened there? Look Ken, I can tell you what happened Look right there. there. But three pails of pop went into the Bruins bench. And they're just reacting to what the Boston fans did. It's just like what's happening out in the ice between these two teams. Uh -oh. Now O'Dwyer's trying to get Dwyer's right trying over to get top. Through. He's trying to get out. He's pushing up the glass. O'Dwyer's oh, he's the out too. Now the security force in there. Well, a couple of fans down there completely lost it. It's 
couple of ladies down there I don't think are too happy they're in that little melee. Well, security forces, one, two, three, four, five. Kind of outnumbered, but doing a pretty good job. An excellent job. I have an idea. One of the fans is a Bruins fan, and he wants to... <laughs> They're trying to calm him down. Well, we got no idea whether the Bruins fans or not. It's just well, that well uh, he's trying to get at another fan. Uh, he isn't obviously uh, yeah. knowing Boston. He threw eight people away to get at him. You could. Avec 45 secondes, 45 secondes à jouer, ça s'en passé des choses en peu de temps. Alors c'est Plett qui a voulu euh, sonner Mike Ramsey comme il faut. C'est euh, Subaram, ça, ah, ça commence encore. Alors, Show Pardon, il a joué un bon match euh, jeudi soir à Boston et Là, il s'est agrippé dès la reprise du jeu. Et là, Shubarum, s'il insiste trop, ça peut lui couler cher, lui, là. On a... Well, there's so much garbage on the ice right now. I... 42 seconds. They have to take it off the ice. They can't drop the puck no. with all that stuff down there. That's wrong. Way down inside the Boston blue line. Uh -huh. Now we go. Oh, this time, McGuire jumped. Side, but Plett jumped on to Ramsey and jumped him and started punching him out. And now McGuire is just returning the favor. Neither team will back up. Now, that, that's Miller. He's bullheaded. It's Miller. Well, then he ever fires the punches at Miller. Miller might have got him the last fight because he got the jump. Now we've got him. Oh, this will be major lead. Here's Ruff and Neely. Neely's one of the best fighters in the National Hockey League. 37 seconds left in the clock. We've had one. To, what is this the fourth fight in the last I don't know I lost count three games ago they're gonna have to find a way to stop it Ted because if they don't this is gonna go on the whole series because neither team will give up now Cam Neely must have really caught Lindy Ruff see some blood down on the ice where he went down yeah there is Gonna have a lot of courage to stand up to defend Cam Neely. I don't know if too many players in the NHL would even think about it, let alone do it. Jay Miller is just not gonna give up on Halkidis. They've got him separated pretty well. That's McGuire. McGuire no, no, jumped him. Missed from by one number. McGuire better leave the building. Well, they got two of them out of there. Ruff is back up. And, uh, yeah, he's got Kluzak this time. Well, it's nothing to do with Neely. <laughs> 